On the item card in Business Central, there are different fields that are relevant for me as a purchaser. And those fields are set up on the tab replenishment. Actually, there's also a lot of field on the planning tab that purchasers would normally use, but those are explained in a video for a planner. So we will distinguish between planners and purchasers here. So I'll just run through the fields here on the replenishment tab. If it's a purchased item, the field lead time calculation is relevant to set up, meaning the time from ordering an item till we expect it to get to our ramp in the receipt department, meaning the time from reordering the item till we expect it to get to our warehouse receipt ramp. I can select here a vendor number for the item and the vendor item number that will be printed on my documents when sending it to the vendor. And I can define a purchase unit of measure code if it's other than my base unit of measure code, of course. And then I can define here if the purchasing should be blocked. And that would typically be used when an item is to be phased out, but we still have inventory. So we like to be able to sell it and to handle it in inventory, but to stop buying it. And then I can select here that the purchasing should be blocked. So those are fields relevant for a purchaser.